Please don't use Okay. Car. Okay. This is Rick, and it is July 21st, 2013. Former Morning Rain members, Rick, Doug, also known as Shadow, Craig, Cass, Cac Chastain, and Gene, Gino Helliker. Well, we just had something to eat, and now we're going to just kind of do a little bit of wrapping. Okay, we had some so, Mexican food from Cha 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 right so next door. Let's see. We're gonna, we can all keep it down. Awesome. Do our version of Blazing Saddles here in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, we all got together last summer and played a gig at uh, Salem Armory, and uh, it was wonderful. It was. The idea that 60 plus year old guys could all come together not just once but several times to, to rehearse so we didn't totally suck. <laughs> uh, we sucked. Uh, yeah. As it turned out, if you watched the, the video, uh, we sucked in a couple of places. <laughs> but overall, we had enough of our family there to give us encouragement and clap at right. the proper time. I want to thank everybody that came out to see us uh, last summer and, of course, uh, over the years. You know, those of you who have, uh, you know, helped us to achieve great things like, say, you know, playing the Salem Oddfellows. The Oddfellows song, one of my favorites. <laughs> and uh, the, the Owls Armory. <laughs> the Lebanon Armory. Hefner Rodeo Grounds. The Hefner Rodeo Grounds several times. We they, ran around to get to Hefner back. Rodeo Grounds, right? We, we tore it up so so much that they asked us. That might have been our launching pad. I think so. Say. Once we hit Hefner, it was all the next Wait. step I own. We filled the void that uh, Quack and Pull and Push with Quack and Bush had left when Roy died. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we we owned Hefner. They begged us to come back. That's they, what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember them trying to beat me up. Oh, they have feet. You had to go to Hefner prepared to fight. Man. I mean, that, that was the best part. They just wanted us to wrap up our set so they could go have a fight and come back to the place. Okay, so when we played in Montana at Great Falls, wasn't there, a, wasn't there a fight there that night or somebody like pulled a gun or something? It was like right after we played? When we left, a few days after we left, there had been a group there before us that had a black chick singing. Yeah, they didn't and, like it. And the Aryan white boys didn't like it. Uh, Fortunately, they let us leave before they threw the Molotov cocktail through the window and burnt the club down. That's right. It had little tinges of charcoal around the stage, around the window. Okay. If you if you watch the Blues Brothers, any, the club that's in there that had the chicken wire, yeah, I think that was the next step was they were going to put chicken wire on the stage. Mercy. Well, person. we did. Remember when we did New Year's Eve in Mountain Home, Mountain Idaho. Idaho? No, no, no. Down south. Oregon, Lakeview. Remember that? Oh, that was no. <laughs> and we were sitting up, and the two guys sitting at the table asked me where the chicken wire went, and I said, "Chicken wire?" He said, "Yeah, they, usually they have chicken wire in the front of this." And I said, "We don't need chicken wire." And he said, "Well, you may not be any good, but you got balls." <laughs> well, the Cimarron Club was right by the Air Force Base. Remember? Yeah. And the and. The, the guys that were getting ready, they, they were training on the, the fighter jets to go to Vietnam. And they would they would train on these fighter jets early in the morning, but they'd close the club down at 2 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah. And yeah. They, you know, they get up and they say, well, I got to go. I got to fly at 16 well, in the morning. Who all went out to the base with me? Oh, I went out oh, with yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we just once. drove right on. You know, <laughs> now, now that they give you an anal search before they put you on that big. <laughs> That's a SAC Air Force Base. Oh, uh, yeah, we just drove, drove right on, on, opened the door, walk, walked in. Walked in. There was a big crack in the wall. It was leaking <laughs> on the floor. Oh, my goodness. And they had the, the, the ICBMs were all within the... Yeah. They, they, they didn't want to tell us exactly where they were. But a good part of our nuclear arsenal was, was about five miles from yeah. the Cimarron Club. <laughs> I can remember talking to a guy there, a pilot, you know, just like between sets. And he was telling me that... What he really enjoyed was taking the plane up as high as they could go and then turning the plane so it was going straight toward the earth and gunning it. <laughs> and just make it go as fast as it could straight toward the earth and then pull out. <laughs>
$20 million worth of blame. Yeah. Now, speaking of that, uh, I'm selling this house we're living in, so I've been tearing things apart, reorganizing, and I dug up old tombs on in these tapes, pieces of paper from years and years, and I pulled out a piece of paper with lyrics on it that Stephen wrote when we were in Montana on that trip, and it was a it's a waltz thing, and great, brilliant lyrics. So two weeks ago, I resurrected a song that Stephen wrote while we were on that trip. Wow. In Montana. That was seventy one. Seventy. When we were in Great, uh, we were in Great Falls, Montana, when uh, Janis Joplin died. We heard about it like three days later because they only get <laughs> uh, But I, I can remember sitting on down by the river and somebody had told him wow. Joplin died. Was, like, and was that, that before or after we all had gonorrhea? <laughs> <laughs> you said we weren't going to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's <laughs> we? Yeah. Oh, you weren't in on that. I don't know. I wasn't. Oh, I was, yeah. uh, I was around Bellridge Way when uh, there was talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was our, our Seattle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a but, that was a bleak moment in my life. <laughs> See, this is going to happen several times during our little. Excursion. Okay, so we got here. This is Shadow. Yeah. This is Rick. This is Craig. Yep. Cack. And that's Gene. He's, He's got a big gig coming up uh, for basketball. You wouldn't know it from looking at him necessarily, but he is he's quite an athlete and a boom outstanding coach with a 42 inch vertical leap. Can you believe it? With four, four these point, spin, four spin point two. legs, 4.2. Four, four four I, I got my desk when I stopped. But at, at one point, this guy was the hottest athlete in Eastern Oregon. He came over to Willamette where we all met. And, my life uh, took a giant dump right up there. Took away his basketball and gave him a guitar, and the rest is history. When I first met Gene, I uh, was at a uh, Lambert function right before we became freshmen, and Silver. I saw that cat playing guitar, and I was like, wow. Silver. That guy can Silver play. Falls Park. Silver Falls. Silver Falls Park. But nobody, you know what? I was over here playing my guitar in my hot licks, but there was this guy over there, long, curly, blonde hair. Doing the Bob Dylan thing, and about a half a dozen babes sitting listening to him sing. That would be me, probably. And yeah. I, I thought, you know, he was pretty. I need to, <laughs> I need to change my style or something. I need to play something, <laughs> yeah. something different than the hot lips. They didn't appreciate that. So, nah, so you, know. uh, you guys, so you guys started jamming together, and then I remember seeing you on stage at Willamette. Was it a talent show? Or yeah, a talent yeah. show, yeah. Now, was that a original song you did or, or you wrote? Or Laura. Yeah. Wonder how she feels today. Remember yeah. And then the second line, even better, I don't know what to say. <laughs> did, did you write that together or was that your, your composure? You know, I think we wrote it together. Yeah. Gene came up with a real nice guitar figure in the beginning for, you know, for the vamp and, you know, that inspired me to write some entirely sophomoric lyrics to go with it. Ha, ha, ha.